Hey YouTube, this is Brother Mike, call me Madness. Today was my last day of school. It's my, of 10th grade. Um, I just want to say before I start the video that I am very happy right now because it took me forever to get to this day because if you don't know, I originally lived in Florida and started 10th grade there. So I did my first semester in Florida, then moved up up here. If you want to, go check out my other videos um, of how I went down from Michigan to Florida or from Florida up to Chicago. Those are the parts where where we, I already moved up there, but I had to go down there to do some school stuff. But finally, I made it, and I... It's been a lot, so thank you guys for all of you who have been subscribed for staying with me. And um, with this video, this came to me from Disney25. So Disney25, thank you so much for giving me this idea. I was trying to think of a new video. I also will be doing maybe two or one more video because for the next um, for the next few weeks, I won't. Um, probably until the beginning of July, I will not be available. I'll be with relatives, and I won't be able to post anything. But I will see if I can um, ma at least make videos and then be able to post them when I get back. So, before without any further ado, this is my top 10 movies. I will be doing them in order. Like, I'll be doing Disney, Disney Pixar... Marvel, Star Wars, and then for the last two, I'll be doing some honorable mentions like movies I want to see in the future. So, I'm going to start it off with Walt Disney Studios. My first one is The Lion King. I love this movie when I first saw it, and I've seen the sequel and Lion King when I have. Um, I have seen episodes of... The Lion Guard on Disney Junior. Don't think I'm like a... I mean, sure, I do... Um, I do like some shows that some will say that is childish, but... Uh, I'm, that's just me. But, um... So... I, I loved the songs on it, and I can't wait for... The live action version of it, which will come out in 2019, which is my graduation year, so I'll be very happy for that. So, uh, so I really like the this movie. My and overall, Scar is my favorite Disney villain. He's like he was. He's my favorite because his plan basically worked. He was all. He was very smart. If, if you're, you may have, like, one person may have strength like Mufasa, but if you're intelligent, you can also win, you can also win with smarts. And his plan almost worked, but the only flaw was that he trusted his hyenas to kill Simba. That's his only flaw. Well, unless it's also what happened when he took over. Um... I love all the so again, love all the songs in the movie. Like, I just can't wait to be king. Circle of Life. Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Um, Akuna Matata. I love all those songs. So, um, I can't wait for the live action. I hope it doesn't make this movie look bad. For the next one for Disney, um, I had, I'll, I chose Zootopia. Um, originally it was hard for me to pick another Disney movie because all the other ones that I was thinking of were Disney Pixar so the movies that I was going to choose I realized they were D Disney Pixar so I was trying to look for a regular Disney movie so one of my other picks of my favorites is Zootopia I love its story it's I love um Judy's story of how everyone thinks it's like almost an underdog story where Nobody believes she can be a cop, but she proves everybody wrong. <laughs> um, and Nicholas Wilde, I do like his char his character. 
because he al- he basically went through the same thing because everybody thinks that a fox is untrustworthy and sly and he just chose to not do anything about it while Judy on the other hand is basically his opposite where they he she knows what they're saying about her that she can't be a cop but she's actually doing something about it so i love how she becomes a cop it, sh- it shows you that you can't, you can't just let everybody tell you what you are what you can or cannot do you you make your destiny you you choose what you prove to everyone what you can do that's why I like I like that about Judy. So the overall movie was very good. I love the s- songs played, especially "Try Everything." It's me and also my cousin's favorite song in this movie, and I saw it in theaters, so I really like it. Sorry if I'm not giving that much information, but next up is Disney Pixar. So this is mainly where I see my movie my Disney movies mainly so first off I'm gonna start with Toy Story I know um, I'm going to be like doing some movies that are from the past but I'm a very um, one I'm a person who likes movies that took place in the past so Toy Story is my favorite because Buzz Lightyear is one of my favorite character and although I could have chosen Toy Story 2 or Toy Story 3 um, Toy Story, the original, is my favorite out of them, and I can't wait for Toy Story 4. Um, so, I really like the franchise. Um, I really love it. Um, I like the some um, side stories that they've done. Uh, hopefully, with Toy Story 4, I mean, I know I'm probably most likely going to like it, but um, most people are hoping that it's not going to be bad. So, um, I just think that Toy Story 3, if it was the end of the franchise, it was, it's a good one, but let, I want to see what they'll do. So, I really like this, each one of the characters, and I can't wait to, for the next one. So, for the second one, it's Cars. So, Toy Story was first, and Cars was second, because I loved Cars so much. So, for Disney Pixar, I guess Lightning McQueen would be my second favorite. Because, um, my parents say that when it came out in theaters, we saw it three times. Three or, probably three or more times in the theaters because we loved it so much. So, I've seen it multiple times. My, my little brother loves it a lot as well. And, um... I really like the story. Now, I'm just going to quickly go to Cards 2. I don't... Honestly, I'm going to be honest. I don't know why people thought Cards 2 was bad. I mean, I'm going to say this now. I'm an optimistic person, but honestly, Cards 2 was good. I liked it. But some people say it was bad. I don't see how. I mean, um, if you want... If you think it could have been better... I would suggest going to the YouTube, go to the YouTuber Watso Videos. He just did a video on how Cars 2 could have been better. And honestly, I do agree with him, but I don't think it's bad. I just think that if they were separate, it could have been real good stories. But um, both of them together, I like how it transitioned. I liked it. And for this movie, um, for Cars 1, I did like um, Lightning McQueen's transaction to like this famous guy who thinks he's the best and he actually doesn't have any friends to having lots of friends at the end. And again, Cars 2, I really think it was good. I just don't see how it could have been even any better. I just really liked it. Cars 3, um, I'm, I'm focusing on Cars 1, but I just chose these pictures because, um, I couldn't find much, and I'm excited for this one. Cars 3 will come up later in the video. So, next up, I'm going to do Marvel. So, uh, out of Marvel, I chose, one, Avengers Age of Ultron. I like this one. It was hard for me to pick out of either... 
This one or the first Avengers. But I like this one because of one Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, and Vision. The introduction of these three characters. And honestly, I just think Quicksilver... I just think Pietro should have stayed. He, I mean, sure... He, I mean, sure, he died to save, to save Clint and that kid, but did you have, he could have pushed the car, not pull it. He could have pushed the car in, in, out in the way, not pull it, making him get shot up with bullets. I just really miss him. Um... And that le led up to the Hulkbuster, which is my favorite Iron Man suit. Now, honestly, um, I think Iron Man, this is like his biggest, this is his, well, this is his main biggest mistake. Choosing, choosing to make Ultron, messing with something he doesn't understand. Um, Bruce, I mean, sure, he agreed with it, and he had good Stand, he had good morals. He knew what he they should, what was going to happen. Something was coming, and they had to be ready. But you're not gonna tell the team, and you're just gonna do it behind their back. That's the thing I see that's wrong. And it's already been proven in so many movies that you can't mess with something you don't understand. That's always bad. It's always a bad thing. So. And I hope we find, I know Thor, I mean, <laughs> I know Hulk is going to be in Thor Ragnarok, but um, I hope that also he comes back to the Avengers, so I also can't wait for Thor Ragnarok. Um, and I just think, I'm just putting this out there, I just think Ultron is alive. Think, before you tell me that he's totally dead, think about it. Ultron may have been all egotistic, that he, he's he was the best, and sure his plan was it would have worked, but he was he's too smart for for that. He, you saw um the the thinking from the gemstone compared to Jarvis, that is like, he's too smart for that. I just think that he might have left at least one. Dr drone behind or something he is too smart to leave to have all his forces there if he didn't think of the slightest percentage that he would have lost he had to, he had to think of everything i just think he couldn't have been he's he's not dead i just think that he's not dead captain america civil war is my fa also now my favorite because i just love this one it works with anything. It honestly works with anything. It could have worked in space. It could have worked in West in a Western movie. I'm I'm just saying that because me and my dad share the same view that you have these heroes who fight for the people, but they don't appreciate all that they've done, and that that tears them apart. I honestly side with Steve Rogers because if he if you sign off to the Sokovia Accords, sorry if all of this is spoilers, I'm so sorry. I should have done that at the beginning, but um, if you sign off to the Sokovia Accords, you're giving up your right to choose how to save the world, and you have pe the community choosing what you can do. That's not that's not saving the world, and that's something I'm very sick of. It showed up in Transformers. It showed up also in in Star Wars with the commute, like the Republic versus their views on the Jedi. That they're not thankful for what the heroes are doing. Like they've saved your life. I know why they're mad at Tony. I see why, but you. They saved your life, lives so many times, and you're so uh, they're so ungrateful. I would have been grateful and stayed with them no matter what. I, I that's what I would do. And I just think, um, um, Bar Baron Zemo, the villain in Captain America: Civil War, was a very good villain because he knew 
Um, he couldn't beat them. One's very more powerful than him if tried. But the main ones that can destroy the Avengers are themselves. And that's a very smart move. He chose to tear them apart. And it's like, sorry for a second, in this, united we stand, divided we fall. That's what, that's what Zemo was planning to do. Okay, um, next up will be Star Wars, and this is one of my, well, all of Di Disney's branches are my favorites, but here's one of mine. Um, Star, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith is my fav favorite in the prequel era. And honestly, the second the second option that will come after this, I was fighting over that movie or Attack of the Clones. Because, honestly, I know people think that the prequel era was bad, but I honestly think it was good. It's my favorite era. It's my favorite trilogy of movies. Um, I mean, I see why they don't like Anakin, I mean, but still, I, I like the movie. I like how it moves moves through and I just think that I just wish like many if they if they did the original trilogy first and I mean if they did the prequel trilogy the prequel era first and then did the original era it could have gone any way that they wanted they did they were not they wouldn't be confined to having the whole thing linked they could have started with the prequel trilogy, and that would have, that probably would have been probably better. Honestly, Anakin Skywalker is my favorite Jedi, and Darth Vader is my favorite Sith. So, <laughs> that's my that's my thoughts on that. Um, honestly, Lord Sidious is like one of the best um, villains that I. In, in Star Wars that I've seen. I mean, I love Darth Vader, but Lord Sidious is like, he was a mastermind because he orchestrated the entire war. When you think about it, he orchestrated the entire war between the Separatists and the Republic. He made the rules of the Republic, and honestly, when he said to Mace Windu and the Jedi that it was treason... That was basically true. They were committing treason, basically, under his rule. That's basically what it was go what was going on. Next was The Force Awakens. And I know you're going to be saying, how could I fight over this one or Attack of the Clones? I just like the prequel era. So, But The Force Awakens won it because I love this movie. I saw it in theaters. I wanted to see it on the opening night or opening day. But I just love this movie so much. We have it on DVD, and I just love it so so much. Um, the only thing I'm confused about is why Finn keeps having the lightsaber and Rey doesn't. I mean, I believe that Finn is force sensitive, but you don't have. I mean, sure it's for the hype, but why do you have to make him look like he's gonna be a Jedi? And that's exactly what doesn't happen. Um. I love the return of Han Solo and Chewbacca. Me and my mom love Star Wars, and when we saw this, we almost get we all we mainly gasped and almost cried the entire entire movie. And we were about to complain about um, Luke not being in the movie until the end. I mean, we did we loved it, but at first we thought Luke wasn't gonna be in the movie. So. That got me upset, and I really hate that Han is dead. I can't... I've been trying to defend that he's alive, but all the evidence is against me. Like, Han is dead, and I hate that. And he was killed by his own son. That's what I hate even more. I, I just hate it so much. I just hate that Han Solo's dead. But, um... Yeah, that's what I really like about the new era, and I can't wait for the new movies that will be coming out afterwards. Now, the honorable mentions will be movies that I think, um, in the future, that I really want to see. 
of course there are many and sorry for this uh video being so long i just i just really like this stuff star wars the last jedi yep i really want to see this one and i will want to be ready for it at the end of this year and hopefully i will be able to have star wars battlefront 2 by that time um by the way i did see the Star Wars Battlefront stuff, and I really loved it. For this video question, might as well ask: Are y'all going? Are you guys going to want to get it, or do you are? If you already have it, if you already have it, um, which what are you most excited about? Yeah. So, do you have it already? And if you already have it, if you already pre-ordered it, what are you most excited for? So, Star Wars The Last Jedi is what I really look forward to. I honestly don't look forward to what to Luke Skywalker. I, the only reason I say that is because he believes, at least from the trailer point of view, that it's time for the Jedi to end. And that is something I just don't get. It's like a trend. Honestly, I think it's a trend now because Luke Skywalker believes that 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 the Jedi must end, and in in Transformers The Last Night, wait a minute, do you not see that? Transformers The Last Night, Star Wars The Last Jedi, they're sharing time. Something is up. Something is up between Star Wars and Transformers. Something is up. But Optimus also believes that Earth must die. Both of our heroes are, are going probably going against exactly opposite of what they originally were what they originally looked for what they originally thrived for and i just don't i just don't like it i just don't like it and i can't wait to see what these books will represent um i think i do i do believe what they what the theories are but I also can't wait to know what um what's going to come out in this in this movie and what they're gonna do with um honestly um dang it, Carrie Fisher. Yeah. So and finally Cars Three, like I said, it would come back up. I know it came out today. I wanted to see it today so bad, but we can't. So hopefully by next week we'll be able to see it because I would see it this weekend, but I've got graduations to go to on both days. And we have to leave out of, leave home to visit relatives on Monday. So hopefully next week we'll see Cars 3. Again, I love the Cars trilogy, and I just can't wait to see what will happen. I felt almost heartbroken when I saw Lightning McQueen crash, and I just can't wait to see what he's going to do. Jackson Storm, I thought, was going to be a good guy, but now that I see the trailers, he's obviously... I mean, he's not like Chick Hicks bad, but he's like... He does these, like, kind of insults. He kind of insults Lightning McQueen in some way. Um, I know Chick Hicks is gonna come back, but I not like I don't believe as a racer. But yeah, I really hope that Lightning McQueen will be able to progress. And honestly, I think what's gonna go on between him and um dang it. What's her what is her name? Um Cruz Ramirez, yeah, I believe something's going to have to going to happen between him and Cruz that will make Sally jealous. That is just my opinion. So that's what those are my top ten favorite movies right now, and I just can't wait for the movies that will come out in the future years. Um, don't forget to leave a like on this video. It will it will show how much you like my channel and how much you like me. Um, thank you guys for wa watching this long. I'm sorry I just made it so long. I just like this stuff and I sometimes get I sometimes get carried away. I'll be doing a few more videos and I guess for 
my next challenge video for 20 subscribers. I guess I'll have to do try not to sing challenge. And um, for another one, try not to sing challenge 2.0 will most likely be with like maybe my sisters, like my siblings choosing songs for me. And they know what I can't stand to not sing to. So it will be harder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video very much. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys. See you guys in the next video.